Hi guys, it's Lisa from NewLifeOnTheRoad.com. We're just down at the barrage at the moment, which is around the corner from where we are staying. And the boys love coming here because it's got a fish ladder. I've never seen one before. Because one side is fresh water and then it rolls into salt water. And the fish can actually travel down this bridge here. Um, I'll go down in a minute and show you the bottom of it and how it works. But I'm just so amazed. So every time we go for a walk now and the boys ride their bikes, of course they want to come down here and have a look at all the water and the fish and how it all works. And today we actually bought a little bucket and a little um, watering can with us because they want to see what's in the water. But as far as I can see, I just think it's tadpoles, <laughs> but they're having fun. So I'll walk down here and I'll show you how this fish, fish ladder works. It's quite noisy, you can hear the water going through. That's the train bridge over there, the bridge, um, the train goes over that bridge from Bundaberg. And there used to be a station at Avondale, but there isn't any more. I'm not sure if you're allowed to fish down here or not because of the fish, um, fish ladder. I don't think you're allowed to. I think there's a rule that you're not meant to fish down here. Hi Nick, can you watch Kyle? Yeah. I'm always concerned when they're near water. I know that Kyle can swim now, but he's got no fear in him, that child. So I'm always worried about where he is with water. I'm not worried as much, but just concerned, I suppose I should say. <laughs> I'd like to know that he's safe. But here's the fish ladder and how it works. Hmm, tide must be in, because normally I can walk right close to there. Normally these rocks here are not under. So the tide must be up today. But the fish can climb and jump through this certain ladder system. Uh, shame I can't get closer so you could have a look and see. There's different levels to the fish ladder so each level has got more water in it um, flowing through. And apparently depending on the season the fish can actually go up this ladder or come down the ladder. It's the most gorgeous day today. The sun's out. It's not even going to rain by the looks of it. So this is the start of the fish ladder and this is where the fish come through. We were trying to work out how they get in. So if anybody knows um, how fish ladders work and how a fish can get into this bit, just let us know below the video. That would be great for the boys to know. Because it looks like a fully enclosed cage. But there's got to be an opening somewhere for the fish to get in. We know that it has to be closed at the top so birds don't get in and get them. But they go through this tunnel. And there's different levels all the way down the ladder. Right down to the end. I didn't realise apparently because it's fresh water going into salt water, they actually have to travel through the ladder to get to one end to the other end. It's really coming in today. Normally the water's not over this top bit, so the tide's coming in or the river's a little bit full and flowing a lot more freely today. I'd never let the kids walk out on that bit because it's awfully slippery and awfully dangerous. Can you hear how noisy it is today? Thanks for watching guys, it's Lisa from NewLifeOnTheRoad.com If you want to see more about our family, our website link is directly below this video. We've just moved into our bus, so I'll also leave you a link for the video on our bus so you can see where we're living and see our new house. Um, we're super excited because we're so close to actually being on the road full time. 
So thank you for all of your wonderful comments and support and for watching our family. Kyle, you going to say bye? Bye. Bye, Kyle. Lisa from the Bye, guys.